English idioms explained have words with. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase have words with. This idiom is often used in English conversations, and understanding it can really help in grasping the nuances of the language. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. Have words with is an idiom that means to speak to someone about something they have done, usually to express disapproval or to discuss a disagreement. It's important to note that this phrase often implies a kind of confrontation or serious discussion, rather than a casual chat. For example, I need to have words with my neighbor about the loud music at night. This phrase is typically used in situations where there is a need to address an issue or a problem with someone directly. It's a formal way of saying that you want to talk about something serious or unpleasant. Examples in sentences, the manager had words with the employee about his recent performance. After the meeting, I will have words with Sarah about her lateness. Understanding synonyms and similar phrases can help in varying your language use. Here are some. 1. Talk to someone about something. 2. Discuss an issue. 3. Confront someone. For instance, I will talk to John about his behavior. Less confrontational. She needs to discuss the issue with her team. More formal. He decided to confront his friend about the misunderstanding. More direct. In different cultures, the approach to confrontation and discussion of problems can vary. In some cultures, being direct, as implied by, have words with, is acceptable, whereas, in others, a more indirect approach is preferred. Always consider the cultural context when using this phrase. I hope this explanation helps you understand the phrase, have words with, and how it's used in English. Remember, understanding idioms like this is a great step towards fluency and confidence in language use. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to have words with us in the comments if you have any questions or thoughts. Happy learning!